welcome back to my channel. If you're joining us for the first time, I'm Coco. Typically, we stick to beauty, fashion, and dating on this channel, so this scene may look a little bit different to you if you've been here before, but since life has kind of switched up on us, I decided to switch things up here. When you're stuck in the house with nothing to do, your go-to is typically eating, right? Your favorite place all of a sudden becomes the refrigerator. Not just the kitchen, but the refrigerator. And sometimes we feel like we need to social distance ourselves from the refrigerator, but that's not the case. It's not how often that you're eating, but it's what you're eating. So today I'm gonna to show you guys a few really good, like delicious, some decadent, some hearty, quick, affordable, and easy snacks, and even could be meals that you can make while you're at home. So let's get it started. Let's get it started. Let's get it started. <laughs> so I have my grocery bags and I have all of my groceries that I actually purchased from my local Aldi. I love Aldi because it is just a healthier market. It has a lot of the things that you'll find in a typical supermarket, but just the brands are a little bit different and it's affordable and it's healthy. And I'm gonna use these items to show you guys how you can make some quick, easy, and affordable snacks at home. Now, I've already washed my hands for 20 seconds with soap. So make sure you do that before you start anything. You're also gonna wanna wash any produce that doesn't come already washed. And you wanna check the packaging to see if something is washed. For example, our spinach bag. It has a sticker right up here that tells me that it's been washed and it's ready for me to eat. So I don't have to worry about that. So the first snack or a light meal that we're gonna make is actually one of my favorites. I love it for breakfast specifically and before and after, before or after my workouts. But it also is super rich and super decadent, so it's great to make you kind of feel like you're having something that you're not supposed to have, but you totally are. So we're gonna start with the lightly salted rice cakes. I like the little bit of salt in it because it adds like a little extra flavor. Rice cakes can otherwise be very bland and very unappetizing, so get you one that has a little salt in it, baby. So once you have your rice cake, it is super light and super airy, so I'm going to use the side that has more of the dips in it, and I'm gonna put that side face up. Once you have your rice cake with the dipped side up, you're gonna grab your knife, and you're gonna grab your almond butter. Now, if you're like me, and you don't love peanut butter, I find it to be too sticky, and peanuts are just not my thing, but I love almond butter. So if you don't love peanut butter, you might wanna check out almond butter. It's similar to peanut butter. It has some of those great benefits, but it just tastes a little bit different, it's a little less sticky. So I prefer the consistency. You can also get the kind that has little pieces of almond in it, so it's a little bit crunchier. What we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and spread our almond butter. Be generous, don't, listen, treat yourself, don't treat yourself, okay? So you're gonna spread it right over the rice cake and you wanna fill in those dips. Yes, honey, fill right over it. It's almost like you're plastering a wall. <laughs> that would be the reference that I use, right? <laughs> All right, make sure you cover as much surface area as you can. I know it's a little bit tricky, but you just wanna make sure that you cover as much as you possibly can. So once you have the amount of almond or peanut butter, or any other kind of nut butter really that you'd like to use, the butter is really to serve as a sort of glue almost. So then you're gonna take your topping. So for my topping, I'm going to be using the oats and dark chocolate granola. Now you don't have to use this one, you can use oats and honey, you can use just plain granola, vanilla, whatever flavor you want to use. But I love this one because like I said, it's decadent, it kind of gives you like a feeling like you're having a dessert or just a sweet treat. It's just something nice to have. Also, dark chocolate ain't necessarily bad for you, so it's technically a plant, so it's like you're having vegetables. You're welcome. So I'm just going to take a handful of granola. Ooh, I love when it's in clusters. And I'm just gonna top, I'm just gonna top the rice cake with that and it's just gonna stick to the almond butter. Remember I said it was gonna be like a glue? That's right, it's exactly what's happening. 
and you can just fill it as much as you want. Fill in all the crevices. If you wanna leave some space, you can, but I like to be generous with myself. Yes. And then you have like a really great, crunchy, salty, but sweet, sticky, gooey snack. And you can have this for breakfast, you can have this for lunch, you can have this as a midnight snack, you can have this before your workout, you can have this after your workout. This is like an all time, always good. There's never a bad time for your oats and butter chocolate almond butter rice cake. <laughs> I love trying food, snacks, or beverages from other cultures. And right now, one of my favorite cultures to try savory foods from is India. So India is known for its spices and just its colorful foods. And one thing that I really love, although it's not colorful, I've been loving naan bread. So if you don't know what naan bread is, it's this flat bread. It's a little bit thicker than a tortilla. Um, it's kind of similar to a pita but it just has so much flavor and it's so delicious. So here I have a pack of non garlic bread. And so we're gonna take that, we're gonna take our non garlic bread and we're gonna make a savory delicious snack. So just because it's just me, I'm going to take a knife and I'm gonna slice my bread across this center. And I like to do this because it makes it nice and wide. So I'm gonna save this for later and I'm gonna work with this side. So with the naan bread, I'm going to be using it with the bumpy side up, flat side down, and I'm going to be topping it. Again, similar to what we did with the rice cake, I'm gonna be coating the naan. But this time, since it's garlic naan, I'm going to be coating it with hummus. So if you don't know what hummus is, hummus is actually a spread that is pretty much chickpeas and tzatziki. So it's a really good, thick, and very, very enriching and filling <laughs> snack. You can actually have hummus with pita chips, pita bread, toasted pita bread. You can do it with, uh, you can have it with vegetables even. I love it on top of a naan bread. So I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna coat my naan in hummus. And remember, it's chickpeas, which is basically a bean, so it's high in fiber. So, you know, I'm not gonna add too much. <laughs> but no, you can go as thick as you'd like. You don't need a ton to be filled with hummus. And especially because the naan bread is so thick, you don't need that much. Now that we've coated our naan bread with hummus, we're going to top it with some of our grape tomatoes. Now I love grape tomatoes because they're smaller, they're cute, and they're easier to handle when you're just making a quick snack. Sometimes regular tomatoes can be, you know, pretty messy. And I also think that grape tomatoes have kind of like a different flavor to them too. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your tiny little grape tomato and you're gonna slice it just in half down the center. And you're gonna place them on, to, on top of the hummus. I like to place them face down, with the seeds down so it's a little bit less messy and so it kind of like sinks into the hummus. So I'm just gonna cut a few. Some face down, some face up, no problem. So I'm gonna cut about four or five. Ooh, juicy. All right. Now, as I said before, one thing I love about Indian food is that it's so colorful. So right now, we kind of added some color, but we want to add a little bit more. So what I like to do, is I like to add my fresh spinach. <laughs> so now, some people may want to cut off the stems of their spinach, but I personally don't mind. So I am actually just going to fold and stick, <laughs> which kind of makes it look kind of ghetto. You can stick it under the tomatoes if you want, but I just like to stick it on top. You can mix them, you can split them up, so if you wanna chop it up, you can do so. But typically, everything kind of just sticks into the, make me out to be a liar. <laughs> typically, everything kind of just sticks into the hummus anyway, but you can just add that wherever you see fit. And you know, it really doesn't have to look pretty because you're gonna eat it anyway. So yeah. And so now you have a colorful, healthy, hearty, and just 
delicious and savory snack that you can have either for lunch or if you just get hungry later on. This is something great that you can have if you get hungry later in the day too. Even though it's bread, at least you're topping it with something that has some fiber in it, so at least it, it's gonna kickstart your metabolism. I'm not a nutritionist though, so don't go me. <laughs> So now that we've done sweet, we've done savory, let's move on to something that we all love so much. It involves an avocado. Oh yes, an avocado. Avocado is like the fruit vegetable of life. I don't, I don't know which category it falls in, but if you're like me, if you are I stand until the day you die, you know that this is something that we cannot live without. If there's no avocado in my home, what am I gonna do? What, what am I supposed to do? So now for this particular snack, it's a favorite, it's avocado toast. I'm going to be using whole grain bread. I love whole grain bread. I don't know why people don't like it. I think it has such a unique flavor. It has some texture with actually having some of the grains on it. And I love to just pop it in the toaster for a little bit. So we're gonna pop this in the toaster real quick. So while our bread toast, we're gonna slice our avocado. I don't know about you guys, but I like to slice my avocado this way. I don't know how other people do it. Is there another way to slice avocado? I don't think so. Let me know how y'all slice our avocado. This is how I do it. Then, I twist. Bam, baby! <laughs> This is a beautiful avocado. Look at how gorgeous this avocado is. Oh my God. These are the things that dreams are made of. <laughs> now that our bread has some color to it, we're going to go ahead and take our avocado. I just like to slice it down the center. So I'm gonna take a large spoon. This is actually a soup spoon, but yeah, whatever. And I'm gonna scoop out the slices that I just made. Yes, Jesus loves me. So I'm just gonna lay those slices across the bread. Pretend you're like a food blogger or something. This is how you eat an avocado, okay? There's nothing left. I love no scraps, okay? Once you have your avocado laid out like this, there's a couple different things that you can add to it. I'm gonna add three toppings to my avocado toast. So first things first, you can smash up your avocado if you want to, it's totally up to you. This is so beautiful though, so we're gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna go back into my spinach, and I'm just going to add a few leaves. I'm not gonna do too much, because the avocado is just so good on its own. Again, I'm not gonna cut off my stems because I feel like there's nutrition in there, and can't afford to lose any nutrition, so. Boom, topped with spinach. Now I'm gonna add another green vegetable. It's a little bit unorthodox, but I'm actually gonna add some watercress. Watercress is like the most underrated green of all time. I mean, even the stem. I love it because it has such a strong, bitter flavor. It's very unexpected and it just adds great flavor to a meal that doesn't have a lot of flavor. So the next thing that we're gonna add, actually we're gonna go back into our great tomatoes. I've been really feeling tomatoes lately. And we're gonna cut a couple of those and add them on top. So lots of reds and greens. Juicy tomatoes. Voila! Avocado toast, which is delicious for breakfast, or really, come on. You can have avocado any time of day, let's be real. Hello! Now, if you haven't noticed for some of these meals, you can double up on the ingredients. So, we already use spinach twice, we use great tomatoes twice. You can also mix and match the hummus and the avocado for both of the last two that we did. So, for the next one, we're gonna use avocado again. <laughs> this is actually something that you can actually cheat with. And what I mean is you can totally create this yourself using an avocado and some other ingredients, or you can do what I like to do and get it store-bought. 
So here I have the restaurant style guacamole. This is the chunky one, and again, this is from Aldi. And this one has tomatoes, onions, lime, and cilantro. So I'm gonna pop open that guac. Ooh, yeah. Oh, oh. Ooh, it's so colorful, already made for you. I'm just gonna peel that off. And if you ever wanna know how to keep avocado or guac fresh and you know, slow down the turning process where it turns that brown, ugly brown color, Ziploc bags. They're gonna be your best friend. Just pop the lid on top of this, stick it in a Ziploc bag, and make sure all the air comes out of it and it'll last a lot longer. Same with the avocado. You're gonna go in with a spoon and just scoop out just as much as you'd like. I'm just gonna do a little bit since it's just me and I get to eat all of these good things anyway. So once you scoop out your guacamole, you can also have this with the naan bread, for example. You can slice it up. You can have it with like a toasted pita bread or you can have it with pita chips. Now I love pita chips, specifically Parmesan and garlic herbs. I love to just pour out a few chips. And for presentation purposes, we're just going to Stick a few in the guac and just pile them under. And again, since it's Parmesan, garlic, and herb, it has that flavor in the chip as well. So every time you bite into the chip with that guacamole, with the tomato, and cilantro, and lime, and onion, you're getting a huge bite of flavor. Now that we've done four beautiful and very healthy meals, we're gonna switch things up for our last one. We have plenty of food to eat, but what are we gonna drink? Smoothie time! Smoothies are like my number one favorite, favorite, favorite snack, breakfast, lunch, dinner, midnight snack, I need a dessert, but I'm not trying to have chocolate right now type of situation. I love it. It's just enough sugar or sweet. I shouldn't even say sugar, but just enough natural sugar. It's the perfect way to get your fruits and vegetables in for the day, your daily count of fruits and vegetables is the perfect way to get that. And it, it just tastes really good, it's super refreshing, and there's so many different things that you can add to it in so many ways. You can make your smoothie, if you wanna make it more like a juice, if you wanna make it more like ice cream, whatever you wanna do, you can do it. You have that, that leeway, that freedom. I'm using the Seasons Choice Tropical Blend. So this frozen pack has pineapple, mango, strawberry, and papaya in it, which is very, very interesting. And I love getting the frozen ones because Although, you know, they say fresh fruit is best for you, sometimes fresh fruits get picked and put up for sale before they're fully in their, you know, right state, or maybe they're too ripe and they go bad really quickly. Frozen fruit is actually picked at the perfect time and then frozen in that state. So when you do get ready to eat it, it's perfect for you. It has all of the nutrients, it's fully ripe, and it stays good for a really long time. So for this one, I'm gonna be powering up my Ninja. Can you tell I've never used it before? <laughs> there is a rhyme and a reason for this, so I always start with the fruit. <laughs> so I go ahead and I add my fruit. I try to get a good mix. So I go just about up to the eight ounce mark in fruit. And then I'm gonna add the spinach. The reason why I do that is because you want your spinach to be closer to the blade. That way it actually cuts through and blends it up really smoothly because you don't want spinach chunks. Mango chunks in your smoothie is cool, but spinach chunks, not so much. And I like my smoothie to be green. If it has like a lot of strawberries, then I like it that dark red color because then I know that the spinach is hidden, okay? I've had enough spinach in there. So I basically, Put the spinach up to the 24 ounce mark, even though it's going to obviously lessen when I blend it. Now you can add a juice into this, like orange juice, mango juice, or something all natural. I think it's sweet enough on its own. That's just my personal preference. I have a sensitivity. I have a sensitivity to sugar. I can speak. <laughs> so I'm just going to add water to this, and I'm going to add just about up to the four or six ounce mark. 
So just under where I put the fruit, or in this case, apparently, it's gonna hit that eight ounce mark. So I just make sure that it has enough water to blend. Pop that on, make sure you lock it in place. And on my, can I see it first? Oh. <laughs> Peel it, peel your ninja first. And turn it on, I'm gonna just hit the switch. But once it hits the consistency that you want, you pop that sucker right off. And then just because why not, we're going to use a glass. Yes, honey. And if you have some fresh fruit, you can definitely garnish that. So, you know, other glass, okay? All right, guys, that's all for today's video. So here you have it. Five super quick, super affordable, super healthy, easy, savory, sweet, delicious snacks that you can make while you're in the house. A lot of things that you can reuse, a lot of things where you can get your fruit and your vegetables and kids will love it, adults will love it. You can even make it fancy. Thank you. <laughs> So if you love this video and you want to see more Cooking with Coco content coming to you live from the Black House Studios kitchen, then give this video a thumbs up, okay? Let me know down below what kind of snacks or foods or meals you want to try, you want to watch me try. It might be a fail, but it'll definitely be a good time. <laughs> When you're getting all of these super amazing ingredients, make sure that when you head to the market, you're using a reusable tote. You can now visit our website, mashalocalmarketplace.com, to pick up your tote bag. This right here is the Rep Your Set bag. This is the first version. So whether you want to wrap one of these cities or you want to wrap Haiti in general, you can pick up this bag on our website. Again, that's www.machelocalmarketplace.com. It'll be listed in the description box down below so you can show your culture some love. Or if you want to make sure that you remind everybody and yourself what the main goal is. Secure the bag, baby. Grab the Secure the Bag black bag on our website as well. These are custom designed. These are made with love and shipped right to your doorstep. So, can't go anywhere but the market anyway. So, you might as well have something cute and reusable to help you get fit, get healthy, get sexy, and get full. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you see what we're cooking up next time. Stay safe, stay warm, stay encouraged. I love you, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.